goal number one framing let's see how this goes for this rookie so anywho Hey guys, it's Jenny. I am going to show you what I have been working on when Jason's over there cutting some wood so we can get the wall started and such. And some lavender and some mint and then um, over here we got a crazy timber one and we've got citronella and some more lavender because we've had the bugs be kind of bad here a few times. I did some research and found that those kind of plants tend to help keep the bugs away. So I figured um, why not try them? Plus lavender smells really good, so does mint. So uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. And then um, I've collected all these rocks here from uh, around the property and stuff. Create a nice little path from the camper over here to the bathhouse. Got the old metal pan bin from the neighbors also and I put some marigolds in there. And I put in solar lights. If you uh, are friends with us on Facebook, You'll see I have an obsession with solar lights. I try to maybe show you guys a picture of this tonight when it's all lit up and pretty. My brother-in-law made me these two cedar flower boxes. So he also made these uh, birdhouse right here. There's a couple bad houses too. There's one there and then there's another one. We will uh, be checking back in here once we uh, get up to the hill and start working on building the walls. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye. I took all these uh, 19 foot two by uh two by fours and cut them down to 104 inches and five eighths why i don't know i should have close to enough studs i'm gonna need two by fours still but anyway that's that i have the uh, two by tens here that i'm gonna use for headers uh double them up we'll figure that out but here we go we're gonna go up the hill all right, so we are up here and we are going to start our first wall. Wish us luck. We got the first wall up. It's a lot easier to say what I did right than all the things I did wrong. First thing you need to do is when you buy an air gun and a compressor, you need to get an air hose to go between the two. I have one at home. Don't have one up here. Up for you. This is what, like the corner pieces you said we should have done? Yep.
Day two. Nails, even more nails. Their puppy, a uh, squirrel, or a chipper monker. <laughs> All right, we're here, guys. Oh, come on, buddy. All right, we're here, guys. Oh, there we go. I got gotcha. you. All right, picked up some lumber here at the bottom of the hill. Picked up nine foot studs, 104 5 8s. Got some 84 inch uh, studs there, too. I guess I don't know why 84. I didn't find that out, but maybe I can use those as jack studs. That was my plan. I'm going to cut them down a couple inches, three inches to 81 inches. Just a quick update, not to bore everybody, but so far. Everything here, and it sounds like a lot because there's not much here yet, but it's all in process of being assembled. 1700 bucks. That's including all the lumber for the floor, the insulation. Been basically $500 every time we went to the store. We should be able to complete all the walls. I have the 2x6 12 footers to do the roof uh, rafters. Um, I should have quite the quite a bit done for that 1700 okay, so let's get going guys we have uh lots to do today Two walls up. Working on the third. Okay. Are you 
pushing, mm -hmm. push. Four walls, guys. So we got all the walls up, guys. Look, 16 by 24. Look at that. There's a pretty lady inside too. See? 